I wanted to be known that uh, if you live in, let's say, the upper west, the northwest side of the United States, the Washingtons, the Seattles, you live in Southern California and you're Nevada to you live in the East Coast around I'd say the north side. So anything from Massachusetts you're in the southern part of New York, which I would say is this city, little places in Long Island, and the capitals, places with the Sunnis like Albany, these really liberal places, and of course southern Florida. Even though Jacksonville is more populous than Miami or Orlando, that's what we think of. We think of like Cuban places. Those places are demographically devoid of culture and identity, full of ignoramuses and consumeristic third worlders. I mean, please, I'm Dominican. My neighborhood is full of shallow people. And a lot of them aren't even black. Keep in mind, we're not even just talking about a black and white thing. We're just talking about demographically shitty people at this point. And that's just how bad it is. We, we can throw the race question out the window now. We, we're dealing with shitty people. This shitty Africans, shitty Middle Eastern, shitty Caribbean people like me. And of course, I'm sure anyone outside of Stormfront isn't going to be too bothered by, let's see, a David Fabre, but uh, when we're talking about what's happening in places like South Africa, when we're talking about places like Australia, when we're talking about places like Europe, especially the UK, and France. You already saw the niggas in Paris video that that guy based his political campaign on. And the fact that Germany is starting to get some darker colors too. It's really becoming a question of wow, I really don't mind where I live. I think one of my friends, a uh, prod cloud or Proud Cloud. He actually said that uh, he's from LA and a very crappy part of LA that isn't Compton by the way. And he said he'd rather live there demographically than where I live in. And with that being said I kinda agree with him. Really? I haven't checked it out for myself. I have a feeling over there it's more dangerous, but I don't really care. It's just demographically better. I mean, at worst they got Mexicans and see black people. That's about it. Just the black guys. Who cares? I don't. But in Europe, you got Somalis, you got the Aborigines, you, you got the like most what the fuck parts of Africa or any place else. Like these people who seriously do not like you. They never. They don't see any value in anything about you, and you decide to bring them in. So when I think about that, I'm thinking. You know what? It's not so bad here. I could tolerate this place. Well, not really. Because eventually it's going to get worse, but then there's a legal aspect. There's the fact that self-defense against a home intruder here 
is a less option, but it's still an option nonetheless. And even though the force of self-defense has to be basically equal, you can't like shoot somebody for throwing rocks at you around here, but it, it's still it's still an option. Over there, it's not only not an option, but it's a hate crime. And when I think about that, I think that that's really interesting. And as bad as that is, it's worth checking out. Regardless, guys, I want to say a few things. First up, on Twitter, I'm going to be talking about a lot of shits going on in wrestling. It's every week since I don't like Twitter, and it's probably going to get me more into it, especially since I usually find interesting trends about what's happening news-wide. And that braces me to actually make a video when subjects are at their most relevant, which is usually when I get the most subs anyway. So this is Mr. Wonka 7, and I wanted to write you guys a haiku. Oh, I got this thing set up. Let's see. I have it written down somewhere. My hair is so long. My tangents are so random. But please suck my dick. <laughs>